Hey everybody, I guess for lack of a better word, I'm going to call this the potato project. So I made this raised bed uh, last winter for greens and then the greens wound up winding up. So I've never grown potatoes and uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. I may be picking them just a little bit early, so I'm going to do a, a test pull. They're starting to wilt over. The reason I want to get going, we've had a weird summer here. So we're getting supposed to be getting a lot of rain this week. Fourth of July is coming up. And uh, that's time for my kids. So uh, I'm going to do a test pull here in this area here and see how we're doing. And you can see I've intermingled squash and cucumbers in with this. I figure the potatoes will be gone and then these things can be taken off. I want to show you something else that I've built. Go up here on the deck. You'll see a cage that I've built. So potatoes have got to be stored dark and cool. So in the shop, I'm going to place these. I'll put a cover over it to keep the mice out. But I got an air gap here, and I'll just keep flipping, flipping the potatoes in that way. Uh, try to make them last. And I'll just show you one more thing. I'm pretty proud of this. This is already the lettuce that I'm getting ready to grow for uh, transplanting. That way it will be ready for the, for the fall. I know I said July's coming up, but fall will be here pretty quick being on the mountain. Um, friends and family are down in the valley. Their corn's already waist high. Mine's not even up to the knee yet. Our growing season here is real short. I planted this uh, these potatoes in, in March and I had to cover them up three times. We had two heavy frosts and then one really heavy frost. So uh, they've made it so far. So the next scene, I'm going to dig one up and let's see what we get. And I uh, appreciate you hanging out. Let's see if we get anything. And we did. Look, there you go. There's some potatoes. Yay! I love potatoes. You can boil them, smash them, drink them. Mmm, french fries. Well, I ain't gonna lie, I'm real excited just by going in the ground it's like an easter egg hunt feel like a kid so just keep trying to be easy with it i got some funky looking ones but i love potatoes so much i don't care look these keep coming up and fill another one Ta-da! so just for two plants i've got this so far I'm still digging. And I'm using this old fork that I found at a yard sale. I love old tools. It's got a nice weathered in handle and I, I keep the handle oil down with vegetable oil. So I'm gonna keep digging. So about three quarters of the way through it. On this side, just this mound here just came from that. I'm getting loaded up. I'm pretty happy. So we got in the cage and as I pick, ran into some cucumbers in this bed. And I've got another bed down here and then I got the new garden here. And I don't waste anything. So there's the old potato plants. I'm gonna compost those. I gotta go through here and we'll see what we get. Appreciate you hanging out. So here's where we're at. I dug that up, got a pile. And now I'm working my way back. And the reason I'm working my way back, although I planted in a row, the potatoes didn't get the memo and they're, they forked out. They hit these rocks at the bed then went that way. It's pretty cool. And uh, something else that's pretty cool, I planted the squash with the potatoes and the cucumbers and I staggered it. Potatoes came up, went right behind it with the cucumbers and the squash. I've been told not to intermix. Uh, different plants, but I'm going to try and I'm probably going to break a rule. I've got some potatoes that are uh, starting to sprout just because I didn't get to eat them. I may just try my luck one more time. That'd be the end of it. Next year, I will not plant potatoes here because I don't want to get a disease going. So uh, anyway, I'm going to keep digging. Let's keep seeing what we get. What we got, but uh, I probably put out. I want to say ten. 10 potatoes and I've gotten all this 
just from 10 potatoes. And I say 10, it's probably more like eight, maybe even five. I didn't put that many out. So uh, this was just a spur of the moment and I wanted to see if I could grow potatoes before I went hog wild. Next year I'll have a bigger field of them. Uh, potatoes keep all year if you do it right. I've got an old refrigerator I want to convert to a potato box too. So uh, that'd be another project for another time. But right now I want to get ahead of the curve here on picking. So I'm going to keep digging. So this is why I wound up digging up. Pretty, pretty happy. One to two people, that'll feed you a long time. And I love cucumber, onions, and uh, tomatoes and vinegar. So I'm going to have a cucumber salad. And I'm not a fan of squash, but I found a good way to cook it. I'll slice it up, put it in a tinfoil pack, add olive oil and cavender seasoning, Greek seasoning to it. Cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes on the grill. Nice. So I'm going to go for a little walk. Figure you come with me. I'm going to check the garden real quick. This is a brand new raised bed. I just had rock and dirt. And uh, of course it's getting weeds in it. I'll come back and uh, knock it down real quick. But uh, I went with corn and purple hole peas. I had corn seeds left over. I said, well, why not? Uh, the old uh, rule of thumb up here, if it ain't knee high by July, it ain't gonna do anything. And it's about to be July. So we'll see what we get. And if we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. And then uh, we'll go for a walk. I cut this road in for the garden and over here is our blueberry patch right there i didn't know if i'd get this garden done this year or not so uh just went for it i got tomatoes it's all container and uh there's squash and uh, cucumbers in there and blueberries and then my favorite plant i'm gonna go nuts next year is uh i don't know if you can see it it's raspberry i burned two of them up i think over fertilizing them but this one's doing good and uh my gosh the raspberries you get in the store versus eating right off the vine is not even close it's like eating plastic from the store so uh show you a little trick i've done here too i've been working on solar fake snake so i took a piece of cable that was uh old and just laid it on the ground i haven't had a bird land on the on the nest since then so uh this stuff here I went with the three sisters method. It's squash, pole beans, and corn. If I get corn, I get corn. I'm, uh, I got no expectations with it. And uh, the cucumbers, I'd love, to, or the green beans, I'd love to get something. And the squash seems to be easy to grow here on the mountain, that and pumpkins. So uh, we'll go over here. Something that's pretty cool. I got some wild rape that came up. I had, this was an old food plot, so uh, I planted rape here one year for the deer, so it's coming up. So this is purple hole peas. This is one week, and then two weeks later I came back so I could stagger it. I'm real disappointed in the garden with this stuff you see here that didn't do very well coming up. I got those seeds from Lowe's. I got ripped off, man. I'll just tell it like it is. I'll never buy from them again. It was the spur of the moment, saw the seeds, and uh, just grabbed it. And uh, they're junk. They don't, they don't germinate. So I planted spinach here from Lowe's. It didn't do any good, so I gave up on it and planted onions right behind it. Peppers are starting to come up. And this was supposed to be a carrot patch. I got one little carrot. I gave up on it. The ragweed's growing better than the carrots did from the Lowe's seeds. So these are peas. This is another bed of potatoes. That's two weeks of growth, man. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, whenever we get heat, these tomatoes want to grow. And then when we don't have any heat, they just not, they're not doing it. It's been a very cool summer. It's hot right now. And it'll be hot this week, but it's about to cool off again. Uh, we've had highs in the 70s, and that's as hot as it gets. And corn does not like that. It likes sun, heat. But anyway, I appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, this is going to wrap the video up, and uh, I appreciate you being here with me. Take care, and God bless.